Hey, my name is Sarah. I'm a sophomore at PHS in Paradise. Woo! And I don't have um, a group to represent, but I'm just going to talk about my experience through 2016 and the election. I felt paralyzed as the events of this year and this election happened around me. I had no money to donate, no ballot to cast. I felt powerless, as all I felt I could do was watch and hope. For I truly believed a brighter future was ahead for everyone. As the election progressed, I felt a little less hopeful and a little more powerless. But I never felt as powerless as I did on November 8th. I saw the bright future I believed in slip between my fingers into the grimy, xenophobic, homophobic, sexist, and racist hands of Trump and his cabinet. I felt as if I was then gagged and my hands were tied behind my back. The country I thought belonged to everyone was, was, was given to those who only care for themselves. I was concerned and worried, and still am, about immigrants being wrongfully deported, Black Americans, whose voices will continue to be ignored. People in Syria being killed every day. Refugees struggling to find somewhere to exist. Along with Muslim Americans, the victims of harsh and cruel Islamophobia. And the LGBT community, whose fight for validation and recognition still continues today. And women, fighting for our right to have control of our own bodies because the government doesn't agree. When I, when I got out of my lull, I felt angry. A wave of passion and drive washed over me as I broke the binding of my hands and the gag on my mouth, and I spoke. I found my voice. I felt powerful. I felt responsible, and I realized how naive I was to think that the future was just going to get better. Because change will only come from us, and we will use our voices and the power they give us to make that happen. or run for an office, but I have a voice. And I will protest, chant, yell, and sing until I can use my voice, until I can use my voice no more. I will use my voice to fight for equality and human rights. I will use my voice to fight for those less privileged than I. When you find your voice, you have the power to change the world. Thank you.